Barry with Christensen Transportation and uh, I want to talk a little bit today about uh, what it takes to be a good long-term over-the-road truck driver. Um, I had a friend in here the other day that's he'd been here 20 years and you know we were talking about people's uh, demeanors and, and you know they're aggressive or non-aggressive or they get riled up easy or they don't and he said you know you you can't have that type of personality and, and deal with all the stuff that, that drivers deal with every day and get upset over each one you know the the car coming down the exit ramp that you need to let on or the guy that pulls in front or, or changes lanes or gets on and off and tailgates or whatever gets you upset um, that that person in that car or truck or whatever it is they may get off at the next exit they're, they're short timers professional over the road truck drivers are on the road all day the majority of the days and they you gotta you gotta wear like a, a rain x jacket on your brain um, you gotta let that stuff wash off um, you let every single person out there get you riled up and agitated you got a long day ahead of you and it's gonna stress you out you know we we've, we've got to live this is a marathon that we do you get you gotta you gotta get in the back of the pack and, and make your move and way into it you know uh, let those sprinters get out of the way and, and uh, don't let things affect you and then you know so it went from we're talking about driving and, and getting upset over that to it's it's the same way when you get to a, a scale house a roadside inspection you know you pull up and you you tell that that officer that it's your truck he needs to get off your steps and you just you just lit his fuse or her fuse you know you, you what anytime i see a, a roadside inspection and there's just every weird little thing you can see that they've been looked at or written up or warned about they've pissed that guy off i mean absolutely i mean we got brand new trucks and brand new trailers state-of-the-art everything they're not going to find defects on our stuff what they're going to find is a good attitude for a bad attitude and the bad attitude is going to get them going um and it's that it's that way it's shippers and receivers you know i got people they come in here they look sharp they got their stuff together the truck's clean inside and out and they go to the receiver or shipper and say hi i'm so and so i'm with christensen transportation you know i might be early might be late whatever whatever it is i'm here i'm ready to go those people are going to get taken care of the people that come up and say here's my bills here's my load number i'm in a hurry you need to hurry up they don't have to do anything. They're, you're going the back of the line, and I don't blame them. I would too. You know, it's a, it's common courtesy and it's respect. And if you go in there and you earn respect, and you exhibit nice, friendly behavior versus the other people that they may have dealt with that day, they're going to take care of you. And then you know, we've got a lot of long-term customers. You're going to go back, so you need to start establishing good relationships and 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 friends, uh, acquaintances with these places because that's where we go. And you can either benefit from it or they can remember you as the jerk and you're going to be the jerk and you're not going to get loaded. Uh, so, you know, be smart. But the biggest thing is, is relax. You know, you, you're the pro. Four-wheelers aren't the pros. Don't let everything get to you. Take it in stride. Let it wash off. Laugh about it. You know, say, oh, there's another one to tell somebody about. Whatever you got to do, but you got to do it. Uh, otherwise, you're going to burn out. Uh, it's not going to be fun. You're going to have long days. So, uh, we're here for the long run, not the long day. So, uh, be safe, be courteous, be friendly, be polite, and be cool, man. And uh, be safe. Thanks.